Hey everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, you're going to be in my kitchen today, my newly cleaned up a little bit kitchen. I'm figuring out some new angles. I got a table here that I was able to put my tripod on, so ready to do another recipe video. This one I just kind of stumbled across yesterday afternoon, so um, I haven't even thought up a title for this video yet. I think the title, I, I'll title it later, but I think the title's just going to be uh, uh, raw vegan uh, recipe, lime noodles, lime zoodles, lime basil zoodles. Sorry, I usually think of the title before. I just had the recipe in mind. We'll figure out that title a little bit in a little bit later when I'm editing. But anyhow, do videos every day. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button now. Please, please. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Yeah, I got most of the kitchen uh, cleaned out, got all the shelves clean. For the strange people that creep your background, so they all already know it. There's sugar there, there's salt there, there's a mixing bowl there, there's a thing of rice there. Leftover stuff from my mom. I used to get comments here every once in a while, oh, I'm so disappointed, I see you using all these pharmaceuticals. That was my mother. So. When you creep people's backgrounds, you assume things that you don't necessarily know. So let's get on with the show. All right, now I did this once again. Um, I, I used to make recipes and then just sit down with it and uh, then tell the, the ingredients. But I like people to see how I do my recipes now because this is important. I, these are not polished recipes. I don't develop these recipes. In fact, I made this one, what's today, what's today, Wednesday? I either made this one Sunday or Monday. I think I made it Monday, and I knew right away. Now, it could be tweaked, um, and I'll show you a couple of little areas where it gets real kind of delicate there, depending on exactly how much lime juice you use, but let's get started. First of all, I'm starting off with two cloves of garlic. Actually, you might see three here, but two of them are just like tiny, so I just uh, did that. But basically, two cloves of garlic, I have a half a cup of, of pumpkin seeds, and I had these soaked. I, I don't know. I don't know how long I soaked them. I soaked them before I went out. I had a busy day. So we're going to put those in there. And I think I've got all the ingredients out today. I'm not always the best in the world about doing that. Now, next we're going to go in with basil. Oops. Y'all didn't see that. Three second rule. Now this is pathetic here. I always get mad every time I buy basil. You see this little package right here? And you see this bit of basil that I have in my hands? I would use a lot more basil, but that amount right there is close to $2. $2, that's obscene. I got big bunches of basil for a dollar when I was back in Costa Rica. I don't like things in Babylon here. They charge too much. So I will pick every leaf. Yeah, normally I've got, I'm going to, I'm telling you, I'm, I keep saying I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm just like busy, busy, busy these days. It's about, what time is it? It's three o'clock and I've been going since seven o'clock. Second video I'm doing today, um, t-shirt designs, just sent off designs to my designer. So I've been busy. All right, got every last one of those. Now we're gonna squeeze the juice of one lime. I've got a second lime around, depending on how much it is. There was a couple of times where I was playing the other day and I'd put some lime juice in there and then I put a little bit too much and then I dialed it back. So the lime can kind of dominate if you don't get the lime just right, but I'm thinking right about it, the juice of one lime is good. And I don't have one of those little fancy things. I just get a little bit of a wrist exercise there and squeeze it. I got my Vitamix, but I don't have some little tricked out, cute little toy for everything in the kitchen. That's a little girly in my opinion, which is okay, but I'm not girly. All right, got that in there. Now I've got a zucchini. I just sliced up a zucchini there. I'm gonna put that zucchini in there. I'm gonna put a big old handful of spinach in there. I won't put too much spinach. The spinach is the one thing I'll go back just to kind of get the recipe going smoothly and add in later. I'm going to put a little splash of Bragg's in there. Uh, 
Uh, even though I put rags, I'm going to put just the slightest bit of Himalayan pink salt. Just like one dash. Now let's see what we got. Let's see what we can do with that. All right, I really, fr I kind of wasn't thinking about what I was doing, so I did decide you to spare some of the pain because it takes a while on this one with the pumpkin seeds and all of that because I'm not using any, other than the little bit of the brags, I'm not using any liquid to get that going. I want it nice and thick, and it is nice and thick, but it takes a while. And you have to work that tamper and you have to work your gears. Now, right now, that is thick. That is real thick. In fact, it's too thick. Now, I like the taste though. I like where it's going. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you this, and this is a little bit of an evolution from the other day. The other day, I got to this point, and I started adding other stuff in because that lime, you know, it was, I could taste the lime just a little more than I wanted it. Today, oh, and also too, that is very, very thick. What I'm gonna do today, and I think this is going to do the trick, is just the slightest bit, and you gotta be super, I have a heavy hand. I'm always bad about doing that. So I've actually even started getting a smaller thing like this and just not having much. I just want the tiniest bit of water, little by little, because, what well, you know, you can't take water out. You can always add more. And I have, I, well, not in a while, but back in the early days, I messed up more recipes by going way too heavy on the water and then just trying to catch up by filling stuff in, and it just never worked. Actually, I'm going to go real conservative, so you guys are going to have to bear with. I don't think I'll need the tamper anymore. I didn't wipe wash it off. I'm the only one eating it. If I was doing for if I'm making food for somebody else, I'll do proper. I might even wear a hairnet. Voila. And just like that, that is perfect. Now that amount made about that much. Um, I'm kind of hungry, and I've been like, like I say, I need some calories. Um, I'm actually doing this video and eating it at an odd time. I don't normally eat like this at 3 o'clock, but I'm going to eat extra today. I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to have some banana and ice cream um, a little bit later on, probably about 7 or so. Usually don't eat after dinner, but you could probably, most people, it just depends on how hungry I am. Now, yes, I used a half cup of uh, pumpkin seeds. Good for that zinc, good for magnesium going to get back on at least just eating a, you know, a handful of pumpkin seeds here and there to, you know, haven't been focusing much on zinc, but that's good right there. So um, give it a try. Let me know what you think. But that's another one right there. That's just easy. Easy, easy, easy. And more than anything else, it's not so much an exact recipe I want you to take from the things I do all the time. It's just the process, how easy it is once you just get in the kitchen and start playing. Go back, maybe I even have some in my, I, I've got a playlist for recipes, which I'll, um, I'll include down below again. But if you go back and look at some of my older videos doing it, you'll see that some of them, and, and I look back and I'm like, oh yeah, it was edible. I ate it. It was good nutrition, but it just didn't taste very good. So the more you get in the kitchen and you play with stuff, oh, this combines with this. This will thin something out. This will thicken it up. This will make it creamy, blah, blah, blah. You, you can come up with just simple recipes. You don't need the recipe books. You don't need fan, you don't need a specific proper recipe. You'll just learn how to get in the kitchen and okay, I got a little bit of garlic or either I have some dates if I'm doing you know this type of recipe and bing, bang, boom, you know, you've got it. But I'm going to, oh, and I've got, I'll show you what I'm gonna put it on, of course. Got a big bowl of zoodles over here. So I'm gonna sit down and eat edit some video, do a few things, go see my mom, and then maybe go for a walk, and then I'm gonna work some more tonight. I'm on a roll these days, so. Anyhow, 
hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Um, maybe share this in some of your groups. This is a good little summer. It's kind of, even though it's got the fat in it, it's a nice light and with that lime. It's just a really tasty uh, recipe. And, you know, maybe for somebody that's not quite on the fully raw thing, that little bit of extra fat is, a, you know, on, the, on, um, on a hot summer night, you can talk people into eating this. I mean, your family even should like this. So, hope you guys like it, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.